are similar to the common cold. You're going to have fever, cough, congestion, sore throat, and body aches. If you have more severe symptoms such as shortness of breath or chest pain or you're confused, if they're very severe you should be calling 911 ambulance to go to emergency room. Not as severe uh, going by private auto to emergency room. If you have some of the more minor symptoms of just fever, congestion, uh, cough without the shortness of breath or chest pain, then an urgent care would be appropriate. The best preventative measure for avoiding the flu is the flu vaccine, and that's recommended uh, for anybody over the age of six months. Any other common measure you'd use to avoid contact with an infectious illness, whether that's wearing a mask, uh, frequent hand washing if you come in contact with somebody that may be sick, um, are all important things too. It's always a good time to receive a flu shot while there's still flu activity out there. It's still gonna help you prevent getting the flu. It may take two weeks uh, for it to be fully effective, uh, but it'll still eventually help you prevent to get the flu if you come in contact with it. There are various treatments for the flu once you do actually get it. Um, for somebody who has a accompanying illness or is less than two years old, uh, you should be getting the treatments even uh, before you get any confirmatory testing of the flu. Uh, for some people, other pe for the other people who aren't in the high risk categories, um, they need to start the flu treatment within two days of having symptoms, otherwise it's not as effective. The most common flu medicine is Ostelmavir, um, and there are three other formulations that work similar, uh, and there's even an IV formulation for people who are admitted to